welcome brothers and sisters to the smart sister show and this is part two a whole series again of all the behaviors and the uh parts of intergenerational trauma that we deal with every day now in this part two section i already in the first section explained pretty much what intergenerational trauma is what all the uh parts are that affect us and so this section is i'm going to take each one one by one and go into the actual behavior and then how we can fix it okay so i as y'all know i am about solutions it's time for us to stop talking so much and start coming up with some ideas and some solutions to what is going on so without further ado the first area that I want to talk about is our uh, untrusting thoughts of about one another. How black people do not trust each other the way we should. And that's some black people. Now, I'm not talking about everybody. But then again, intergenerational trauma affects us all to some degree. So even if you pow to the people just like me let's do this let's do whatever we got to do we all suffer at some point you know and i i as i work on myself and that's the other thing that we need to be totally clear about when you're dealing with healing yourself from intergenerational trauma you have to take the attitude or the issue and deal with it in yourself See, it's so easy for us to point at somebody else and you this and you that, and you this and you that. But how often do we take ourselves, look at our faults, look at what we do and how it applies to other people? Okay, so the first thing with not trusting, let's understand where a lot of this came from. All of this intergenerational trauma stems from the fact that our humanity was has been trying to be stripped by white supremacy the point blank period that's where all this stuff comes from that's why all of us have uh been uh willie lynch letter now we know that has been proven to be false but basically it's telling you the gig it's telling you the trick that white supremacy has by taking your own humanity even though we still got a lot left because if we didn't it would be curtains for you know who okay so basically but they they've done everything to try to get us not to trust one another for us not to uh be together because think about it un until we trust one another and that's in male female relationships with our family with our community until that's restored in some kind of way in a healthy way then nothing else matters honestly that is the key most important factor we're going to have to work on as a people to come together okay and this all started back during slavery now i hear some of y'all uh why why do we keep talking about slavery everybody always come what are you talking about here and now this is 2000 and, da, da, da. and why you you bringing it all back because that's where it started because we were fine until we were brought here okay and everything being stripped from us here and we did everything we could to bring it back and to create ourselves so really we are a total different type of black person here in the united states okay than just about anybody anywhere else even though they were colonized they were colonized in a different way we were colonized in a certain way so you have to understand where it comes from and how uh it still affects us today that's the whole problem so if you can't even deal with the fact that where it came from then i doubt if you're going to be able uh to identify these behaviors in yourself and fix them but i can't worry about the people that don't want to i'm worried about you all that want to you're on here because you want to find what it is in yourself and how you can can help yourself to break that chain and 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 all the isms and everything else that have been 
affecting us for centuries. This ain't no brand new deal. This is for centuries. So, like I said, once you got one sweeps put on the boat, what do they do? Cut out our tongues. So we could, most of us could not talk. You couldn't speak in your own language to each other that they didn't know what you were saying. So, see, we not even realizing the brutality of what really happened to us. So really, people that, that can't get it, I ain't got nothing for you. Because they did that. They did it. Okay? So if you can't even communicate with each other because your tongues were cut out, then we won't even talk, but, but many of us did anyway, and still took over the ship, uh, uh, jumped overboard, because many of us would rather been dead than to be brought over here in this mess, okay? Most of y'all don't want to uh, admit that once we got here, uh, our bones and all our joints were rubbed to the skin, uh, to, to the bone, all the skin was gone, because you laying in your own... Uh, feces and, and urine and r r going back and forth on a ship until it wore all the skin off. So most of us had to heal for months before we could even be sold. So keep that in mind as well when we're talking about this stuff. Since so many people want to be so dismiss dismissive. Okay, so with that being said, they were scared of the mutinies on the boat. Okay, you got healed, you got here. Okay, then they broke you up, sold you how they wanted to, got broke up families or couples or whoever, sold you to the highest bidder. Okay, you go on to the plantation. You don't know what's going on. You got to deal with the bull that they put you through, okay, and do all the work. Then what's the next thing they want to do? Make sure you keep fearful of them. So they quartered a lot of us, and you know what that is. A an arm and an arm and a leg and a leg was all connected to a horse, and then they hit the horses and pulled people over to put that fear in you, okay, that it could be you next, okay? So after the fear was put in there, then what's the next thing? A lot of us still fought back and took over plantations. Okay, they had to stop it some kind of way. So they started trying to make you fear each other and fear one from another that you would rather just stay, keep status quo and keep your mouth closed and don't do shit. And then, then they can keep you where they want you. So therefore, you could not trust each other. And you definitely couldn't trust uh, uh, another uh, ancestor. That was on another plantation. Oh, no. You, If you can't even trust your own right here, you know you're not going to trust black folks from somewhere else. Now, even with all that, all the torture, all the beatings, all the everything to try to keep you from trusting each other, some of us still got together and did what we were supposed to do. And then what happened? It was always that one. The one that's going to go and snitch every single time okay so the trust issue that is okay so let's bring us till today and people say well i ain't got no need to be trusted now no other negro because you know they be tripping and you know black people ain't never gonna unite and black people ain't this and black people ain't that and da, 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 da. you've been taught that You've been taught that. So then, therefore, you always feel you got to, Masa, is we sick? You always got to identify with your oppressor and, and, and take care of him or her to the detriment of your own people. Now, that is the reason why a lot of us can't unite. Because, one, you don't trust yourself. You sure don't trust another black person. And your brain is gone. It's gone. We were so easy. I'm thinking about a, a, a situation right now with this young lady, Carly Russell or whatever, somebody that, that disappeared. Bam, first thing we do, oh, that ain't, don't sound right. That ain't, uh, it ain't whatever. You know, Juicy Smoulet. We all know how everybody reacted to, oh, that don't sound right. Now, a lot of it, I felt the same way, but... I'm going to 
always give my own people the benefit of the doubt because how many times how many times have white women lied and caused the death of people how is there and then with the carly uh russell case oh there was a a, a, a press conference and they said this and she did that and she did this other and blah 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 okay but I've never, when has there ever been a press conference where a white woman is lying on a brother somewhere talking about he kidnapped her kids and killed them when she did it? Oh, he, he, you know, I had to uh, kill him because he, he was in my apartment. How a woman uh, mistook her own apartment and went to the wrong one and killed a brother. Y'all, both of them, John, I think his name was. I could go on and on and on and on and on on how many white women that have lied, 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 didn't have a press conference after even lying, and then, you know, and then it fades away in uh, the memory of people, and then you move on. But one sister comes up missing. I, I, Passed stuff on thinking it, it would help. Okay, so now she's back and, and people want to believe they don't trust that she could have been taken. Even though we live in a country that a hundred over 100,000 black women and girls are missing. Missing. Oh, well, that's something different. No, not really. Anybody that's missing had to be taken or something. So I believe I'm trying to be like, what does the law say? You're innocent until proven guilty. Whereas a lot of us, we are guilty until proven innocent. That's how we've been looking at things and how we dog each other in the sense that the trust is not there at all. Despite what the police have done, society as a whole has done so you would rather believe something in someone that has never had your best interest at heart ever okay i'm willing to give the benefit of the doubt she might be crazy as bat shit for all we know maybe not you know until all the facts are in until the evidence is done well we gotta hold her accountable accountable how how much accountability are we give making this country have to not allow a hundred thousand of us to be missing do you think really a, a hundred thousand white women could be missing and it wouldn't be task force and stuff everything under the sun one little white girl can go missing in the bahamas and people changing their profile pictures on facebook and oh lord oh lord See, that's what I'm saying, that, that, that thinking that has been so ingrained in us to hate ourselves, not trust anything about ourselves. And that's a, that's a problem. And if you don't think it's a problem, then you are a part of the problem. And there are parts of, of trust. First of all, first of all, trust is something you give to a person that you think is deserving of. That's what trust is. Trust is not some nebulous thing out here and it just happens to fall. No, 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 no. You make a conscious decision to trust anything. When you walk out the door, you trust that when you get in your car and, and pull up on a light, on a red light, green light, yellow light, light, you trust that you will be able to drive through as long as you pay attention to what's going on. You trust that automatically. You don't even think about it. Right? You trust that the sun is going to arise and the sun is going to set. Trust. There are a million things in this world that you do trust without thinking about it. But yet still, you could take something that happens to your people and your humanity goes out the window and you don't care, you don't trust, you don't give a damn. So let's, 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 let's break that down a little bit. Now, the first part of it is, let's just take the example of the sun, the sun rising and the sunset. Okay. The reason why you trust that 
is because it has happened for thousands, maybe millions of years. It's authentic. It it, it happens every day without without fail. You know, some days may be gloomy. Some days it rains. You don't see it. But the sun is always there. And you know it. And you know it's going to rise. And you know it's going to set. No questions asked. So you trust the sun. Okay. The next thing, it's logical. You you know it's going to happen. Nothing is going to stop the sun. Nothing. You know that already. So as powerful as world leaders may be, as powerful as, as, as anything is on this earth, you know the sun is is going to shine, it's going to come up, it's going to set, it's going to become daytime and nighttime. Logically. Okay, you know these things. So, once again, you trust it because you've logically figured it out and know that's how it goes. Scientifically, however you want to look at it, logically it makes sense. Okay? And the last part um, and, and the sun is not exactly <laughs> the best example, but in a sense, when we give our trust to someone, when we uh, feel like we believe in something or somebody, part of our humanity comes back and we understand it and we feel for it. Okay, so really, I guess in case of the sun coming up, coming down. We know our humanity, our, our, how we live, how we uh, breathe, how we do whatever, how we feel as a human is based on that sun being able to, to uh, rise and set. We base our life on what? You do certain things during the day, you do certain things at night. Okay, your humanity is wound up in that. Okay, so now y'all understand trust is something you give. So then, therefore, the reason why we don't trust each other because we don't, want, okay, like number one, are we authentic? Do you feel, you know, you got black people, you got niggas, you got uh, handkerchief heads, you got um, sellouts, bootlegs, uh, uh, people wannabes, bougie. Right? Are these authentic people? Are these people that you really can believe in and know that they're telling you the truth? Obviously, most of us don't feel that way. You may have felt that way about Martin Luther King, about the Civil Rights Movement, about Malcolm X. How authentic a real person can you get than him? Because he took his mistakes turned him around and made himself a great man that's why we can trust who he is a lot of people trust their their uh, uh pastors or trust uh, uh some other leader or trust grifters that seem like they're being real when we start trusting them but they're not you can say it in your own family in your own personal relationships you give your trust to this person then you find out they're not who they said they were they're not who they acted like they were look at yourself are you authentically being you are you who you say you are and like i said with all this stuff everything's got to come back to you do you trust yourself in any situation do you know who you are do you know what your strengths and weaknesses are can you trust in yourself to be able to trust somebody else that's the main question and if you can't then bam that's why we can't trust somebody let's take another behavior is it logical okay i want to trust this person so bad I will give him everything and whatever, and it makes no logical sense, but I trust him. Well, is that really trust, or are you being a damn fool? Now, let's, let's you know, I can use that 
in terms of of a lot of these people following these preachers that's telling them that the last days and taking their money and then they all drink the kool-aid or whatever when that same bible done told you you will never know the day of the hour but somebody talked you into trusting them and made you do things that did not make logical sense when you're in a lot of relationships with a man or a woman or whoever you're dealing with made you believe you could trust them but they you give them your whole check they go spend it on themselves and something else the bills is piling up you don't know what to do you give them some more money you hope and pray that they're going to do the right thing you keep giving it to them and you're hoping and praying that the right thing is there and it's not you know look at all these uh brothers across the ocean tricking women into giving them money okay and uh, talking all the stuff that made them trust them then guess what you ass out all your money gone and they gone too did it make logical sense okay could you say that person was being a real person that you could believe in then is what you're doing your relationship with them doesn't make any logical sense logically do you think somebody you don't you barely know is gonna love you two days after they met you because you're so starved for it you will believe it okay and that goes across the board religious leaders political leaders any leader anybody in your life your boss your your whoever the same thing can be applied uh to them okay so they don't have any logical sense that makes sense to you well maybe to you but not to a lot of other folks okay and then the last area that i talked about before is the empathy in that the the feeling of having the feeling for humanity to feel that uh you can understand what's going on their plight or whatever why can't we have empathy toward each other we have it all day long for white folk and they've done everything under the sun to black people everything killed murdered raped uh you name it they've done it okay tricked you out of land tricked you out of getting a house didn't redline your area don't want you to vote gave you tests to make you have to take in order to vote you three-fifths of a man on, on the book still. Okay? Oh, all that, all that, all that is fine because the white man's ice is cold. You trust your oppressor. Hands down. No questions asked. But somebody can come up missing. Something goes down. Oh, shit. There that nigga go. Really? You have any empathy for your own people that have been through everything? It's a wonder all of us are not that shit crazy. Seriously. For them from them breeding us as, as slaves, brothers sleeping with sisters and mamas. And you don't think somebody came out of that kind of cray cray? Really? pressure and, sh and stress we're put under just being black in america some people crack some people gotta do drugs some people gotta have sex some people gotta shop some people gotta do a whole lot of stuff so all, about all of us are guilty of something one of those hell i didn't know shopping was a personality disorder it is i will shop till i drop Try to find a black company. If the black company don't make it, ah, oh, day, I'm still shopping. I'll admit it. Okay? So that's what I'm saying. Bring all this stuff back to yourself. Why don't you trust people? Why? Why is it difficult? Especially for you to trust uh, uh, your enemy. Hands down. No problem. And they've shown you a thousand ways to Sunday why you shouldn't trust them. But you do. Hands down. You know, Uncle Ruckus. 
like in boondocks. Nigga tree is afoot. You will, ooh, man. You'll turn each other in. You'll trick on each other. You'll do all this stuff, uh, um, you know, to get the approval of the white man, to get the approval of somebody you think you should have. You trust them unconditionally, even if they jacking you up with no Vaseline. But if I ask you, like with this series that I'm doing, I'm trying to put stuff out here, stuff that will help us heal, okay? How many of y'all will will uh, look at this and then share it with a friend and try to figure your stuff out? And I'm going to do it regardless. I don't give a damn if two people watch it. That's two people that I helped, I hope. And then it's healing me. The more I do these videos and talk about this stuff, it's healing me as well. That's what this is about. That's what uh, circular thinking that Africans have. I am because we are. Okay, without the we part, who are you by yourself? Seriously, who are you? And why can't you trust anybody? Do you trust yourself is the main question. So I really want y'all to go back. You can look at the video again when I first talked about it, and then now watch this so you can get a more uh, tangible feel for what I was saying. So you can go into yourself and figure yourself out, figure your own stuff out, because that's all you need to worry about. If we all figure out our own stuff, then we can all come together and help build a whole cohesive group. I already know some of us too far gone. Now, I'm here, and I'm trying to give the information. But if you're too far gone, and you think, oh, she's talking some bullshit, okay, that's fine. Move on. Move along. The rest of us are going to try to get it together and help one another. Because you're going to find the more you act like you're out there by yourself, the more by yourself you're going to be. All of us ain't going to make it. Okay? So that's the end of this one on... Uh, the fact that we don't trust each other the way we should. I hope you got something out of it. And keep watching. I'm getting ready to go down the whole list of all the behaviors and really bring it home so you can understand what you can do within yourself to help heal yourself. Okay? That's And, and that's our whole thing. Egyptians say, know thyself. That's everything. That's everything. So, peace and love, everybody. Um, share this video with whoever you think may need it and keep watching it yourself until you clear up some things in yourself so you'll be better uh, able to understand what impact uh, not trusting can have on you. Okay? So thank you. Come back next week. I'll be on the next one. Take care.